Time for Tom Talkers, everybody. U.S. President Barack Obama calls the rejection of a new gun control bill a shameful day for Washington. Among other things, the legislation would have required background checks on Americans who buy guns online and at gun shows. Obama, who was very emotional yesterday, accused senators who voted against the bill of caving to political pressure from the gun lobby. That is our topic today. Connie Bernardi's here from Magic 100. Alex, Allison Sandor's here from CFRA. Rick Gibbons here from CFRA as well. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Good. Any surprise yesterday? None whatsoever. I mean, this really answered the question, if anybody needed uh, the question answered about where power really resides in much of America. It resides with very powerful special interests who lobby in, in Washington. And the fact that the, anti, or the pro gun lobby was able to push this back really is a, is a testament to that. Yeah. To me, it boils down to uh, politics in the end. Like the president said, uh, this is uh, what looks like an attempt to get reelected uh, for, for many people, uh, senators yesterday. And what's interesting is, is Obama says that 90% of the people wanted these tougher laws to come into effect. And then here you have the NRA, which is sitting in, in cahoots with many of these senators, sort of seemingly pushing their way in and, and swaying the vote. I mean, I don't know if anyone watched Lincoln. I watched that lately, and it was all about vote swaying. It's right. sort of reminiscent. Right. Connie, does it, um, you know, on the heels of uh, the Boston Marathon bombings, on the heels of Newtown, uh, and that's one of the reasons this legislation came to be in the first place. Does it shock you that Americans, uh, you know, and, and politicians, those in power, kind of refuse to, to let this kind of legislation go through? No, I just think the NRA has such a strong support base. They take that constitutional right to heart, um, uh, especially when they have such high profile celebrities supporting the NRA. Uh, they've got people like um, Miranda Lambert who is uh, married to Blake Shelton right. and her microphone stand is uh, that of a rifle. Like right. she's a staunch supporter of, of rights. But uh, one of the commentaries made by one of the NRA members yesterday was that, and th that comment shocked me. He said that the emotions of the parents whose children died in mass shootings were irrelevant to the decision that was made yesterday. How that can it, it should be have no bearing. To the How can it be? Well, if you want a gun, if you really want a gun, you will always be able to get a gun. And I hate to say that, and it shouldn't be that way. But even people with mental disabilities, which is one of the, 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 the categories that they wanted to ban people from getting guns, you can go out onto the street and you can buy a gun, no matter where it is. And that man who did those horrible things in Newtown, Connecticut, could have gotten the gun from his mother, right? Right. Which he did. Right. And he wouldn't have even had to be registered. Right. Um, I, I don't know. You know, on the, uh, when you look at what has happened in the United States of America on various occasions and, and recently... To me, it's, you know, it's, it's a, a slam dunk to, to have that kind of legislation in place. <clears throat> well, you, you'd sure think so. I mean, there, I, I just think there's no saving America on this particular issue. This is the weakest possible legislation. Obama was desperate to show some kind of momentum that could result in something. This wasn't even about gun control. This was about mental health just issues. Just background checks and so on, You know, right? the, the ability to buy a gun online without even a mental check, the ability to go to a gun show or w without a background check. I mean, my goodness, if they can't pass legislation uh, like this, there's, there's really just no help. And the other thing to consider is it's not about politics for Obama, really. <laughs> He's in his second term. He just wanted to see something done along these lines. And, and you know, what was a close vote really wasn't close at all. Well... Uh, it, 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 it could have passed, but I, obviously there was a lot of arm twisting behind the scenes at the very last minute. And mm. these are senators who are afraid of, in two years, going to an election and facing the very powerful financial interests of the gun lobby, taking them down. Mm. It's, it seems like a total bailout to me. A bailout. Imagine those parents from Sandy Hook sitting in that, yeah. you know, gallery watching this, days after sitting in the gallery watching the Boston Marathon. Right. Weeks after burying their own children. I, I, I know that, you know, um, obviously Boston is not about uh, guns and so on, but it is about weapons and it is about, you know, what seems to be common practice south of the border in that you can arm yourselves in so very many ways without checks. And, and to Canadians, this just seems foreign. It, yeah, it's foreign to us because we don't have the same issues. But look at the long gun registry and see all of the the discourse that it brought about as well and that that's an issue but in the states they were brought up this is the second amendment the right to bear arms yes the 13th amendment to put it in perspective was abolishing slavery so this is something that has gone back since the
the almost the beginning of time for the Americans. It, it's their right to bear arms and playing the devil's advocate. Some of them are worried that if there's stricter rules in place, they won't be able to have that right to exercise that right to get the arms they need to protect themselves. Well, the common thread with Sandy Hook, with Boston, and with this is that all of these, you know, in all of these incidents, people will die. Yes. And the decision made by the U.S. Senate will result in people dying. Yes. But even yesterday, um, just on social media, they were saying that if, you know, that they were confusing right to bear arms with, you know, the, the background check, but they said, you know, it's a show of strength to our enemies who want to attack our country that, you know, if we have guns, you know, th that we're strong and we're there to defend ourselves. That had, they were so, the lines were so blurred yesterday mm. when this outcome came. Yeah, yeah. Just doesn't make sense to certainly to a lot of people on this side of the border. That's I don't think it makes a lot of sense to a lot of Americans. 90% yeah. of Americans supported this legislation. What does that tell you in terms of when they're, you know, when they're whose lawmakers. interests are yeah. lawmakers protecting here? Yeah. Thanks for your thoughts. I appreciate it. It's uh, kind of a sad day when you look back at it to, to see that legislation go down the tubes, although uh, the Obama administration says they're going to keep moving forward and hopefully something will get done.